there, I'm Deborah Adam Simmons from National Geographic. Today I'm here at the Seas with Nemo and Friends at Epcot, and I'm thrilled to be hanging out with National Geographic explorer and marine scientist Aaliyah Griffith and Miss Halle Bailey, star of Disney's new movie, The Little Mermaid. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Thank you for having us. We're so excited to have Hallie share her experience becoming Ariel. And Aaliyah, tell us about the organization you founded. So my organization is Mahogany Mermaids. So it's geared toward uplifting children of color, specifically black, into getting involved in the aquatic sciences. A lot of our youth don't know of the possibility of the careers and passions that they can have. I Maybe. love that. Do either of you recall the first memories you have of mermaids? Watching The Little Mermaid. Yeah. My sister and I, whenever we would be in the water, we'd pretend we were mermaids. That was our thing. Never in a million years did I think, now this. That's so funny that you say that. Yeah. Because I always say I never learned to properly swim. I only swam like a mermaid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was it like preparing to become Ariel? Synchronized swimmer coaches taught me how to move as graceful as Ariel. Because when you're under the water and you have to do all those pretty little turns and stuff and hold your breath, that is not easy. Mermaids are strong as heck. It was my first time learning how to scuba dive, and I didn't realize how much of a passion I had for diving. Yeah. It really opened up something within me, and there's such a spiritual and peaceful connection yeah. with the water. Preparing for the role was life-changing. Do you believe that there could be mermaids? Because I honestly do. <laughs> We've only explored about 5% of our oceans. There are even certain parts of the ocean where we're just touching the bottom. They just found the bottom in Blue Hole, the big yes. blue hole in Belize. So we don't know. It could be they're still you know, identifying new species every yeah. day. Fun fact, when sailors were out to sea and they were out for a long period of time, they're usually tired and dehydrated, they would then mistake other animals for mermaids. It's a mermaid! A mermaid? Use your eyes! You're both accomplishing your dreams in such a beautiful way. And what advice would you like to share with young people? I definitely would say to make sure that you write your own story and don't allow anyone else to intrude on that. Absolutely, I would have to agree with her. Ariel has taught me a lot about what it means for me to find my own voice. It's just all about going for what you want and knowing that you can do it. Miss Disney's The Little Mermaid. Now in theaters. Rated PG.